What's going on guys? Michael from GPRisers.com back again here in the mining bunker and in today's video we are going to be doing a little bit more work on our heat box located in the back of the bunker right here. Now if you can see here um, in the last couple of videos uh, we did have the electrician come and install a additional 30 amp um, outlet right there and we did carry over two from that side. Now we have a PDU uh, plugged in right here eventually that's going to be right on the bottom on one of those bars right there but we still have to hook all of this up i just have not had uh, the time to kind of deal with all of it here is going to be uh, what we're using and this will again get vented out and up through uh, the drop ceiling right there but so far uh, we did want to convert a couple more of our rigs to octaminers so that we're able to direct heat and i think that the next rig we are going to be putting in is our 10 card 3060 ti lhr and i actually have two more 3060 ti lhrs uh, but there's no room on this frame for it so i'm kind of uh, holding off right now on adding that until we get our box all set up uh, right now we kind of just have these two octaminers right here just blowing hot air into the back of the bunker which is going into the back here uh, but it's a little bit uh, just too hot so we've been doing a little bit of work up in the uh, drop ceiling there on the other side of the bunker, getting that all ready so that we can hook up uh, the pipe and vent out some heat. I'm hoping eight inches en is enough for this, but uh, we've had some people reach out and say that we should go uh, ahead and do 12. But I think for now we are going to stick with eight. Uh, we're gonna start small and if we need to, we can make the adjustments and, and go up. We do have the fan pretty high on this one right here because they are 3090s. So it is a lot of CFM that's going to be going into here. Um, however, um, we are going to try the eight inch out and uh, you know, test it and basically uh, you know, fix problems as they come up. Now this right here, uh, from here to there, if you saw our, our uh, other videos, that fits the X12 uh, you know, perfectly. And right now we have four X12s and then we're going to be adding some of the uh, you know, X8s off to the side. So we are going to build something right here kind of uh, to make up for that gap that's gonna be there. But once we get all of this up and going, uh, we are going to start loading this thing up. I've been kind of holding off on buying any new cards. Um, I know I did just get these, uh, but again, we can expand a little bit. We have a completely empty uh, 30 amp now that we do need to fill. So we are going to be getting uh, some more cards sometime soon once this is all built out. And I think uh, we are not going to be converting any of these other uh, rigs that we have here um, into Octaminers. I may actually do uh, the 3090s right here, uh, put the, that into an X8. And we moved a couple of these to the back of the bunker. There's actually no AC back there, but we do have the air getting ripped out. So it's, it's hot, but it's not, it's not horrible. That's where a lot of our uh, 6600 XT rigs are. And we are going to keep our 3070 Ti's um, in these Omega frames. Uh, we don't plan on moving those into server cases. They are a little thick. They take about, you know, 180 watts-ish. So that's just a little too much for an X12. Uh, lower powered cards are definitely the way to go and what we've learned. So, you know, I will do a video comparison on the X12 in comparison with the 12 GPU Omega frame. You know, closed versus open, uh, you know, what we believe the best cards are, you know, for closed cases, uh, which cards are best for open, and the benefits of that compared to the benefits of this, the cons of this compared to the cons of that, and we'll do a pretty detailed video on that for you guys. But I'm going to kind of keep this a little short um, so I can get started back on this. Uh, this is going to be my main priority for the weekend. But what do you guys think about the eight inch? Um, you know, like I said, some people did reach out regarding that and I appreciate everyone reaching out. Uh, you know, th these, this is new to me. I haven't built one of these boxes uh, yet. I see a bunch of other YouTubers doing it. So it seems like I'm doing something right here, but uh, I am by no means an HVAC expert or anything like that. I am hoping that this will work. Uh, the reason why I'm using this is um, because I use this in a grow tent build that I had in my shed that I have some rigs in now, but I no longer do the grow tent. Uh, I just kind of shoot all the air out of the shed. Um, so I have this laying around, that's why I'm using it. Maybe the right thing to do would be to get two of these maybe and have, you know, one on each side, kind of build another box 
uh, back there and kind of have both of them connected to one box and have that vented out. Again, I'm not an expert on this, uh, but yeah, you know, if you guys have built something like this, uh, you know, this size and everything, uh, please drop some comments down below. Uh, any recommendations or any tips uh, or any, you know, headaches that you guys might have ran into that we could avoid. Uh, you know, anything that you guys have uh, regarding this would be extremely helpful. But we're excited to get them in there. We're excited to direct some of this heat out. Uh, again, we are growing our mining farm still. And I think this is going to be uh, the best next chapter to be able to isolate heat. But that's going to be everything, guys. Um, I'm going to keep it nice and short and sweet. Um, I hope everyone watching this has a great rest of their day. And we'll see you guys next time.